say, uh, hey, Charlie, are you still long term bullish on Rune? Is it it's under a dollar? Is it a good price to start accumulating? So this is what I'm saying about the altcoins, right? So let's go back and take a look at Ethereum um, because the altcoins and Ethereum, I think, are going to lag Bitcoin um, and go down. Well, not Ethereum necessarily, but the altcoins, at least a lot of them are going to lag Bitcoin. And so you don't want to rush um, to buy them necessarily. So let's take a look at Rune, but taking a look um, here, where is it now? I haven't taken a look at it recently, but I would not try to, I try to buy Bitcoin and Ethereum on lows, but I, I, and on cycle lows for the 60 day cycle, but I don't try to do that with all coins. Um, but for fun, let's take a look at Rune here. It's at a dollar 35 or sorry, dollar. Th yeah. Dollar 35. And the low here was, yeah, around a dollar. Right. So how low can Rune go? If, Cause this one, right. For Rune, like Ethereum, I, sorry, I wanted to mention this with Ethereum. Um, with Ethereum, we have uh, a low here in the summer, but we in December and November, we did not hit a new low, right? We did not e even get close to that $800, $900 low that we had in the summer. So I think Ethereum and the altcoins are holding up strong. Some of them are holding up stronger than Bitcoin, and that's not going to last into a capitulation phase. When we get into the capitulation phase, the Ethereum and the alts are going to get nuked probably harder than Bitcoin. So you don't want to try to buy a falling knife with that. Right. Whereas Bitcoin, Ethereum, you can hold them for several years. So I am long term bullish on Rune, but not nearly in the same way that I am with Bitcoin, Ethereum. So what I would rather do is I would rather get more Bitcoin, Ethereum and then get more Rune later. Right. Because this could keep going lower. So uh, let's pull back to the whole history of Rune. Yeah, we only got since 2019. So we only have a bear market. We have no bear market data on this, um, but it is around anywhere around, I would say, 70 cents to about a dollar fifteen. That area is likely to hold as support for Rune, but I do expect it to come lower than a dollar again. So I'd wait for that at least, and then maybe wait uh, maybe a few weeks until after Bitcoin and Ethereum have found some uh, lows um, before getting into anything related to alts.